All right, so in this tutorial, we're going to be tackling this simple animation. We're going to be making those Lego blocks, doing this force field animation, playing with some rigid body. So let's get into it. All right, so for those of you who are interested, I'm going to provide this blend file for you guys to download in Gumroad for $1. So if you can check out my settings, see what I'm doing in case you miss something or not understanding something, as well as this animation as well basically kind of the same thing but for a dollar you're going to get both of these of course i kind of messed up on the modeling for these this was the first test run but pretty much the same scene so you can have both of those and have fun with them if you want but but that being said let's get into the tutorial all right so first off let's model this lego piece now keep in mind we're not going to be trying to get photorealism or even precise realism when making this lego piece what we're going to do is try to get it in the ballpark try to get pretty close because these are going to be pretty small. So by doing that, we're going to eliminate having a lot of topology in our scene and it won't be super, super, he super, super hefty. And the animation will go smoothly rather than having a lot of topology, say like having 4 million faces in this scene and it'll be really heavy. So we're going to get it as close as we can. So, but we're not going to stress photorealism in this. So I'm going to hit tab, click the face selection here, hit X and click faces. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to hit Shift A and apply the scale. And I'm going to add the solidify modifier. And I'm just going to bring it in right about, I'd say right about there. Now let's go ahead and add a cylinder. Scale it down. This is going to be the little, the little dots on the top. So I think about, of course, we're just eyeballing this. You can use the reference if you like, but I've played with Legos my whole life. I feel like I know kind of what I'm doing. So we're going to go right about here just to see how it's doing. We're going to duplicate it. Looks like it's too big. So we're just going to scale it down a little bit more and then duplicate it. Okay, that looks about right. So now we're going to use the array modifier. So we're going to take this, get an array, and we'll bring it to this side. And on count, hit four. And then we'll just sort of space them out as we want. Kind of glitched on me there. So we'll just space them out. Right about there looks really good. And then we'll take the array and add another array and switch this one right here to zero and this one bring it over like that. And then we'll just move it around. Now we have the top part of our Lego piece. Now let's go to the bottom here and we're gonna add three slightly larger cylinders. So let's go ahead and add the cylinder, scale it down, bring it here. We're gonna to try to eyeball this as well. So much too big. Right about there looks pretty good. It's gonna fit right in there. Now let's add now let's add an array and give it a count of three and then bring them this way until they fit in those slots. Alright, now let's apply that. Let's take this, apply that, and take this and also apply both array modifiers. Now let's take these. Select the bottom, hit X, and click Faces, and we're going to add a Solidify to those. And add some Solidify to the bottom, just like that. And now, let's just apply that. So now we have these three pieces. We're going to be adding a rigid body and some physics, and these are going to fly apart. So, because this isn't too complex and we're adding the same shader to everything, what we can do is hit B, Box Select it, and Control J. And now we've just joined all of that to the one object. Last thing we're going to do is add a bevel to that. We're going to change it to angle so that when we hit smooth shading, it'll look nice. And let's give two segments and let's apply that. So now we have a nice bevel on all of our stuff. And then we hit smooth shading and now we have our nice Lego piece. So now we're done with the modeling process. Let's go ahead and make them a little bit smaller and bring them over here. And let's add in a sphere to the middle. UV sphere, I'm going to hit shade smooth. So if I hit play, of course nothing's going to happen. We've done nothing to this scene. So let's go ahead and add our force field. So force field will give it force. And right down here in the in the physics settings, we're going to give a strength of negative 1000. And the reason why we're doing negative is it'll pull everything in rather than pushing it out. Now if I press, press play, still nothing happens. That's because we need to add a rigid body constraint. Now what rigid body does is it makes these collide rather than going right through each other like they normally would. So we'll click our brick here, rigid body, right here on source, right here on shape, click mesh, 
right in this one here, click rigid body and change shape to sphere. Now when we press play, it's going to do that. Now for this particular animation, I don't want the sphere to be moving around the way it is. So when we click on it, go back to our physics, uncheck dynamic, and when we press play, boom. It stays still, but it is still a rigid body object. So now what we're going to do is just add a shader. So we're going to go to look dev here and give it a golden shader, and that's super easy. So we'll just get, make it metallic, and we'll take this and bring it down to the yellow. And now we have gold. What I like to do is just give it a little bit less roughness. Right about there, looks pretty good. And we'll add the same shader to the brick. So now let's just go ahead and duplicate this a whole bunch. Be careful not to duplicate it too much because then your, your scene will be too heavy and your, and your computer will crash. Now that I've duplicated everything, we have all this stuff. Now let's press play and see what happens. Now we have this really nice fluid animation. It looks really cool. But it's just going to stay there until my timeline ends. I want them to drop. So the way we're going to do that, let's click on our force field, go over to the physics settings, and let's go to where we want it to drop. So let's have a hit, kind of play around for a little bit, and right here I want them to drop. So at frame 100. So right click, insert keyframe, and then right here say to 130, I'm going to want it to drop. So what we're going to do is hit zero on the strength, insert keyframe, and that's all we have to do. So once we click play, let it recalculate, and let's just watch it happen. So now it's doing its thing, playing around, and then once it hits zero, everything's going to drop. Just like that. So there you go. That's, that's basically how you do the animation. All you have to do is set up a camera, bring it there, so once you have your camera set up at whatever aspect ratio you want, I would recommend 1920 by 1080. Um, so doing that, you can set up your camera. I'm going to show you the output settings here really quick. So select where you want to save it. And then right here, change it from PNG to FFmpeg video. Right down here, from that to MP4, and then change it to, and then change it from medium quality to high quality and also video codec, make sure it is on H.264. So once you do that, you go up to render, render animation, and you're done. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you learned something. Go ahead and you can go check out the blend file if you haven't, if you messed something up. And be sure to send me this stuff on Instagram. You can, my Instagram is linked in the description if you wanna send me that. And thanks for watching.